Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another reaction video. And Lindsay, who are we checking out today? Dance Gavin Dan. That's right, we are. And they have a new track out. It's titled Prisoner. I'm super excited to get in this. I love this band. Yeah, you do. You love this band a lot. You showed them to me. Actually. That's right. Back in 2016 with Mothership. Yeah, that was the first thing I'd ever heard of them. I didn't pronounce Mothership. There we go. Mothership. I said mutter. Go. Mothership. <laughs> mutter. <laughs> yeah, Mothership was a sick record. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and then and since then, we had Artificial Selection. Mm -hmm. I covered Son of Robot. That was a good, you did. good little jam. I enjoyed playing that. I don't think I enjoyed Artificial Selection as much as Mothership, but it's definitely a good record. I just was like, I guess when I say that, I just mean like I was obsessed with Mothership. Mothership. Yeah, you that were. was like a daily lesson. It was like on repeat. Oh yeah, all the time. Like yes. the, when you, it's one of those. It was one of those records for me. Like the second we got in the car, that was the first thing I did was yeah. put that on, then start the car and drive. <laughs> I know. And then you and I were singing it too for like a month. Like yeah. all the songs because they're so yeah. catchy. Oh, like they're the so kind of choruses get stuck in your head really easy. A hundred percent. Instrumental is really badass too. Such yeah. great instrumental. And like that's the thing I like a lot about this band. I guess it's just like the fusion of really interesting instrumental with awesome melodies. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm kind of hoping for with this track, Prisoner. I want to uh, I want to get a really banger chorus stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm hoping for as well. Yeah, dude. Have you heard anything about it? I haven't heard anything about this track. I mean, when we say to you guys we've heard stuff, it's not like we do a ton of digging. It'll just be like friends of ours hit us up and be like, you have to check this out. Nobody necessarily recommended this. I just noticed that um, nobody in my immediate sphere has recommended it. I just noticed that it was out, so we're checking it out. I haven't heard anything either way, so let's uh, let's just come to our own conclusions. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. So just before we get into the video, we wanted to let you all know that we have a new line of merch out. So the merch store has been completely rehauled with all these new products. As you guys can see on the screen for you, we do have, finally, we have Unexpected Blah merch, which we are super, and by we, I mean Lindsay, is super <laughs> excited for. I so uh, that's all the thing. I hope you guys enjoy the products. Thank you to everybody who's already grabbed some merch. We really appreciate it. And of course, you guys can use the code REACTION to get 10% off any order on the merch store for the next couple of days. So uh, yeah, with all that being said, let's get into checking out the song Prisoner by Dance Gavin Dance. All right, well, we're off to a good start. Love that guy's outfit. I know. Dude, the DW kit. Dude, what a vibe. The DW kit's making me wet. <laughs> <laughs> Screamer's just chilling on the couch, bro. <laughs> I feel like they're in like a greenhouse. Everything's so warm. Oh shit. Damn, bro. There's that chorus I was looking for. What a voice. I know, right? Oh my god. Yo! Dude, they delivered. Yeah, they Shit. Did. Dude, that pres <laughs> that <laughs> chorus was so sick. It was really sick. This is groovy. So hell. groovy. Yeah, what? Dude, I'm so good at this. And their outfits and everything. This whole vibe. I love it. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Those beady eyes. Hell yeah. The oh, verses man. are cool, but this chorus, man. Yeah. Chorus is always the star of this band, I feel like. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dude, he, that, the drummer's got his ride symbol, like, so wrenched. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's, it's not the same symbol in the mix, for sure. Why isn't he? I don't know. I'm so distracted by it. 
It's like the it's like they were like, let's film a music video, and they couldn't get the screamer off the couch, and they're like, all right, set up around him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is he the only one? I, I thought don't know. he was gonna like get up for his parts or something. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He's over there tripping on psychedelics or something. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever tried DMT, bro? <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, bro. That's sick. That's a juicy rock down. (laughs) A rock down. What? Sudden ending? Sudden ending. Unexpected ending. <laughs> Unexpected ending. Can we so, what did you think? What's up? You got to sneeze? Keep all this in. <laughs> so, what did you think of that, Lizzie? Oh, man. I have so many thoughts about that, actually. I think... Well, hit me with a couple of them. I always focus a lot on outfits. That's kind of a thing about me. And I was thinking the whole time, that the clean vocalist, he's so clean cut. Mm-hmm. He, he has no tattoos. He has, like, such a very, like, polished haircut. He's wearing, like, a cute pattern button down. I just kind of love how, like, their look almost contrasts with their sound in a way. And then, like, the song within itself has so much contrast because it'll be so groovy. And then, like, the harsh vocals come in and it's, like, like so different. Right on. I don't know. That was my thought. Contrast. Nice. I like the track a lot. Did you you like it? I did like it, yeah. Liked it, yeah. Definitely would listen again. 100%, dude. Yeah. I felt it was kind of short. I wish yeah. that there was... Um, How long was it? Three... 346. That's so actually it was like, not short. It was like intro or verse, chorus. No, that's short. Well, aren't most songs like three, three and a half minutes? Mm, if they had had stuff after the bridge, it would have pushed closer to four or four and a half. That's kind of what I was... Yeah. I don't know. I wish... I was hoping that there would be another chorus after the bridge. Yeah. Because the choruses was sweet. I didn't really like the verses. They were okay. They just... They did their purpose. They got you to the next chorus. And then I really loved the bridge. I felt that the bridge was like definitely the high point for me outside of the choruses but the chorus is just like that took me places no i swear the vocalist is like american idol winner level of <laughs> vocalist <laughs> like kelly clarkson level okay so good right so good it never right ceases on. to amaze me i feel like that's almost like a special thing to have in like hardcore or like metalcore or something almost like most of the vocals are rough which is what i like but his yeah. voice man just takes you places it's Italian. so special it's so unique yeah yeah Italian's so, crazy, dude. so one just one i was talking a bunch about being distracted in the track because like this is just drummer stuff but I'll say it for the sake of saying it like he was playing the ride cymbal but it was like it looked like a big ride cymbal like a 20 inch something mm-hmm. got this big chunky bell and he has it cranked and when he was playing the ride cymbal in the verses there yeah. was ride cymbal in the track and it made sense yeah. but then we get to these choruses where it's clearly digging into some kind of bigger crash cymbal yeah. and he was still playing the ride cymbal I don't know what it, oh. what's going on there was, that's weird maybe he was like improvising for the video maybe it was some kind of like crash ride thingamajig but it sounded very much like a ride cymbal when it was yeah. a ride cymbal and it sounded very much like a crash cymbal when it was a crash cymbal. Like usually yeah. when you're playing like a crash ride or yeah. like my polyphonic, you get like the ping from the ride cymbal is very washy and then the crashing is kind of dark and lower and has a lot of sustain for those like bigger crash ride cymbals. So like there was definitely two different cymbals that I don't know why he chose to do that. He had a right, he had a crash cymbal on his right hand but uh, that was um, the one thing that I kept noticing throughout the track. When you said that it actually brought up a question for me. What's up? That What's I had never thought to ask before. Sure so did. like in this video it looked as though they were all in the same room at the same time, right? Yeah. But he was actually playing that drum set Yeah. and they had nothing in their ears. Or were they all just in that room going deaf while they were filming? in this video well you don't know they could have they could have had earplugs well, I was looking at their ears because when I had this thought I was looking at their ears but maybe they could be like really like invisible small ones or something yeah like you like you can put in earplugs that are skin colored that like you yeah. squeeze and put inside right you know like it's like those have you seen the orange little um, yes. cone shaped yes. things you put in for like everybody a construction has. site or something uh, it's kind of like that idea I don't know like the other thing too is like I've been to a lot of rehearsals where dudes just don't wear anything they just deal with it they're just cool with it yeah maybe that's why uh, maybe that's why he was did, like playing the ride cymbal the way he was maybe it was the one cymbal he could play because there was a ton of tape underneath it so it was just sounding like tink 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 oh tink. so it like wasn't like destroying everyone's eardrums yeah that could be what it is right like every shoot that I've done usually like if there's extras especially or yeah. if you're in a place where you don't want to be too loud you tape the bottom of the cymbals so the cymbals or you double stack them sometimes bands do oh, that that's, that's not as common though because it doesn't look as real yeah but a lot of time yeah you see drummers with like playing on cymbals but then when the cymbal bounce back there's like a layer of tape underneath it and like a square pattern that's just deadening the cymbal to nothing oh. so that it's not too loud for everybody else and then another thing you'll see a lot like from a drummer perspective perspective was like he probably didn't have a kick drum or sorry a kick pedal like he was just hitting the floor oh, like he was just 
Kind of like moving his legs? Yeah, like, uh, you know, if there's no angles of it, you don't really need to include it because then it's just another thing you don't have to worry about. Right. Like, trying to, trying to be loud, or not be loud, but trying to, like, reduce down so that you're not destroying everybody's ears on set or making it difficult to work on the set because you have to do so many takes, right? Yeah, you have to play it over and over and over, right? Yeah, and then other things that you'll see is just, like, uh, with the snare drum, you just, like, loosen out the shells. So, like, you can loosen out those heads and then, like, put tape on them and then they become very quiet. Oh. So, yeah, there's lots of little tricks that bands do when they're on set with a drum set um, if they're trying to reduce it. Now, there's yeah. like lots of examples where none of that happens. You know, if you're in a venue, like you're shooting in a venue and it's supposed to be like a live, like a live video. I mean, sometimes it is literally live because you'll just bring a videographer with you on the road and take video of a bunch of shows and compile it together. Right. But other times bands will do like a live shoot where they'll bring in a bunch of extras to stand in front of them in a venue and they'll do takes from all these different angles over and over and over to create the live feel. Uh, when you see that, usually like they won't really care as much about volume and things like that because it's a venue anyways. You just yeah. play. It's got to look real because you're supposed to be in front of people anyway. So exactly. you want to make it as real as possible in those situations. That makes sense. Yeah, dude. Drummer stuff, bro. Drummer stuff. I feel like I always get on rants about some kind of drum stuff when we do these reactions. I think that could be why a lot of people are here, though. So that could be fine. I don't know about that. Maybe. Yeah, it's with my channel. That with the drum sense. channel. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, I really dug our first listen to the song Prisoner by Dance Gavin Dance. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out this song with us. If you did, make sure to let us know by commenting and hitting the like button. Comment some suggestions for what you can check out in the future. We always love to hear what you guys have to say and what you want to hear uh, and what you want to see some reactions on. It'd be cool to get some reactions for some older content. So like, there's a lot of bands out there with great songs that are I've never heard of. So request That's... some stuff that I've never heard of That's or true. that I might not have heard of. Yeah. There we go. Even if it is like a little older. Yeah. Because it's still first reaction, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And we'll do our best to feature whatever we can on the channel. Yeah. Uh, outside of that, you can connect with us further on our social media pages. They're on the screen for you right now. Also, make sure to check out the link in the description to all of our new merch designs and use the promo code REACTION for 10% off. Uh, you can support us on Patreon and join our Discord community if you want to do that. And to close out, thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you guys all very soon with something new.